Okay, hi, lovely people. Um, I am Danielle Gray. Obviously, if you're following me, my account is I'm, I am Danielle E. Gray. I am rebranding my brand right now. Um, I've been stuck for a while in this process of just trying to find my niche and trying to become a coach, a life coach, a mindset coach. And in the process, I've also been dealing with a lot of personal stuff and I found myself to be really depressed while going through this. And it has to do with the fact that my mother has ovarian stage three cancer. And I was trying to find a balance of coaching people, helping people, and also taking care of her. So what my rebranding right now is going to be is I'm going to be posting vlogs on my Instagram and also on my YouTube page where I will be sharing our journey, mine and hers, as mother and daughter. I'm going to be sharing that journey of me taking care of her and her process of battling ovarian stage three cancer. I want to help people who are caregivers of family members who are going through the same thing that I am. Yeah. Yes, I'll make you a cup of tea. I'll make you a cup of tea, Mom. I'm going to make you a cup of tea. <laughs> now that was her right now. <laughs> I love you too, Mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, as her caregiver, I have found that my um, community is very limited at the moment because I can't really leave the house. Um, I'm a 35 year old woman who is taking care of my mother and I don't really have a personal life. Danielle, yeah? Is today Sunday or Monday? Today's Monday. Monday? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. okay that was her again. Sorry about <laughs> the interruptions. She just, she's, so sweet she just wants me to remind her of stuff and she's just being hilarious <laughs> she's just being hilarious and asking me questions right now um anyways <laughs> anyways i'm going to be posting vlogs about our journey uh, about our journey as me as her caregiver and her going through this journey of her battling stage three ovarian cancer. And um, I want to help people who maybe don't know a lot about stage three breast cancer, maybe don't know a lot about um, caregiving. I'm in Canada, so like caregiving is different than in the States and I'm located in Ontario, which might be different in a different province care of caregiving. I am a full-time caregiver to my mother because she cannot be left alone because she might fall and she's not allowed to fall or hit her head. The doctors have stated that she needs somebody in the house with her, which is not a problem for me. I've chosen to do this out of love because I want my mother to hopefully survive her battle so she can see her grandkids that hopefully one day I'll be blessed with and having kids and she'll be able to have kids. But right now it's just, I'm focusing my, my priority is to focus on her. And I figured that since I can't do coaching and take care of her at the same time, that I would mesh my personal life together and create a new kind of brand that would be me vlogging about our journey because I think that it's a very 
inspirational, but also very difficult journey to be on, especially when I'm the oldest out of three, out of three kids. And um, I'm mostly doing this. I feel like I'm mostly doing this by myself. I don't get days off. Um, I'm really burnt out most of the time. Uh, we find humor in what what we're both doing because it's teamwork. She's battling something and we have to make jokes and we have to stay strong. And it's really lonely for her because she doesn't have an immune system. And I have to have a very close unit of people where I don't get sick because she can't get sick because that could lead to her going into the emergency room that could lead to her dying. So I want to educate people where I'm at right now in my life so I can help other people. That is my main goal. I've always wanted to be an author and a public speaker ever since I was in my, I'd say, 20s. I, I realized that I wanted to be a public speaker and I wanted to be a motivational speaker and I wanted to be an author and I wanted to be a coach people because that's always been my my dream. I, I started out, out as a daycare teacher at 18 after I was done in high school because I, I care about people. Then I went into cooking because to me, cooking is love, an expression of love. So that's what I started doing. And I went to chef school. And then as time went on, uh, I had a nervous breakdown and uh, I couldn't do the cooking anymore. It was taking too much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, mom. And I, I just, I couldn't handle the chef industry anymore. And I just wanted to, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I found myself having a nervous breakdown because I felt like I lost my identity when I stopped working. And eventually I found my identity again with my mom and I, when we have we opened a publishing company and we started to help people there and I started illustrating her books for her and started to do the social media stuff and I was also caregiving for her because she had she had chronic pain at the time so I was doing that and I had a lot more freedom at the time to go out but she was diagnosed a year now of stage three ovarian cancer and um i've been taking care of her for a year now we've also moved so i'm unpacking a lot of our stuff it's taking a really long time <laughs> because i'm doing it solo but my main thing is to take care of her and i figured why not why not show people what it's like on a daily basis of me, one person taking care of her and show people the realistic stuff that we go through and maybe people can resonate with that and maybe people can actually find that they're not alone and that there are bad days and good days and maybe I can educate people and coach people through it and find ways to create a community online that will help out other people so they don't have to feel like they're struggling and can reach out to me and we can create a community where we don't feel like we're all by ourselves because I get I have really bad days and it usually happens once a month where I will we'll break down and cry I find that it's really hard for me to do this and I don't want to feel like a complaining because I want my mom to live and I want her to thrive and I want her